and Day's labs do every type of hideous biological warfare work you could possibly imagine, including uh, DNA genetic engineering on just about every type of uh, uh, agent uh, you can possibly imagine. So it's my opinion that um, this is this is where it came from. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, you know, precisely what type of agent we're dealing with. Today's New York Times has two variants. One, uh, a uh, what, what looks like some type of um, uh, hoof and mouth uh, disease uh, that was genetically engineered along with Ebola down at the University of, of Texas in Galveston. And a second type, this is in the New York Times today, you can read it. That's right, hidden in plain view, I have the article right here, just right. buried, is, is this is a product of BioShield, so our bioweapon is bouncing back on us. I'm afraid this is blowback. The, the second um, uh, Unbelievable. bio uh, weapon involved here is the uh, uh, National uh, Institutes of Health. They've always been up to their nose in uh, bio, actually the, their eyeballs in biological warfare and the uh, Center for Disease Control. The second uh, agent seems to be a genetically uh, modified uh, uh, organism uh, involving uh, enhanced uh, lethality, uh, Ebola, uh, together with the virus for the common cold. Oh, my God. And you put the two of them together. Now, just so, so I mean, you're, you're, you're the author of our biological weapons law. You're a top expert in this. You were access to a lot of classified stuff when you did that work. You're here telling us that you've looked at this. It's hiding in plain view. That that, and we know we have these secret bioweapons labs in Africa. That's what the African scientists are saying. Uh, the media has been attacking me for pointing out that South Africa admitted they developed this stuff. That was declassified in the mid '90s, as you know, uh, with Project Coast. And uh, yeah, the CIA worked with them too. Right. That's well known. Yeah. So so you're saying, in your view as an expert, you believe that this is a Western-developed bioweapon crossed with the coal because the Army's come out, we have the report on InfoWars.com today, and said they believe that it will transfer like a uh, influenza A in temperatures below 45 degrees and will go airborne this winter. 